Mob, 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 Moab, 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 Mom, Mom, Mommy, Mom, Ma Hey guys, Stealthy here, and welcome to some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay on TDM on the map bootleg on Modern Warfare 3. As I said, you know, this game that apparently is the best shooter of the year and is brilliant and everyone loves uh, Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, listen, Modern Warfare 3 has gone and killed itself practically. Uh, I don't know about you, but I, I find that it's become one of the most boring and frustrating games to play. And when a video became fr becomes frustrating to play, then it's th it's doing something wrong. Video games are supposed to provide enjoyment, they're supposed to provide entertainment, and when a video game is actually causing you stress and frustration to play, then it it's gone horribly wrong. Now, Call of Duty is a great series. I, I, I'm not lying. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it's a great series. It's fast-paced. It's action-packed. It's entertaining to watch. That's why Call of Duty became the main game to commentate. It wasn't Halo, which was, uh, in my opinion, is a better game because it's more slower paced. It was Call of Duty because it's faster paced and you can run around and you can shoot lots of people and you can get into amazing gunfights and come out with triple sprays and you look pretty beastly, you look like Rambo on steroids uh, which is another thing I wanted to address, like specialist kill streaks. that's what it basically is, it's Rambo on steroids and whilst at first they were cool, uh, I really don't want them to come back if, if Black Ops 2, <laughs> if we buy Black Ops 2 if Black Ops 2 is actually the game that saves Call of Duty has specialist kill streaks, then it's going to be awful unless, of course, their kill streak system changes and it goes back to maybe the 357. And then, if it goes back to the 357, we're just going to have people running specialists because who wants 357? It, it's gone and made itself too complicated. Video games are meant to be simple. Look at games like Lager or video games like Minecraft. Now, I'm not saying Minecraft is good. I know you guys, I do Thundercraft on this channel. I, I like Minecraft, but I, it, it's simple and it's repetitive. But it's fun and addicting for some reason. Uh, Galaga, if you don't know what Galaga is, it's a it's a game almost like Space Invaders. It's, it's an 8-bit <laughs> arcade game. And I find myself hooked on it. I don't know why. It's It's got practically the worst graphics of a video game t that's around these days. It's um, extremely simple in how it works. But I keep coming back to play it more and more. And it's because it's simple and it's addictive. And Call of Duty is probably, it, it's like Michael Bay, he's gone and made a massive movie with a whole heap of CGI effects, chucked them in there and he's like, look at my explosions, come watch my movies, that's what Modern Warfare 3 is like, it's like, <laughs> it's exactly like that, it, it's just full of explosions and because it's full of explosions, everyone goes and watches it and they go buy the game and they keep playing it, and I, I feel that's not good enough, a video game's meant to be fun and entertaining, Correct me if I'm wrong, is if I miss something with video games, are they supposed to be full of action and explosions but frustrate the hell out of you? Because if that's what that is, Modern Warfare 3 is definitely the best game of the year. It wasn't the best game of the year, it was the best shooter of the year. But <laughs> when do you actually see gameplays where people are generally shooting? Um, <laughs> you don't. Generally, most gameplays are of kids using uh, overpowered kill streaks. And uh, just basically abusing um, <laughs> the game. Now, I guess special kill streaks is gun on gun, but it's it's kind of perk on perk if you know what I mean. It frustrates me that a game so good as Call of Duty has gone and killed itself. It's, if, if you if you take anything from this video, just take that I'm frustrated, and I think that uh, <laughs> they really need to get their stuff together. Something that annoys me the most, and I'm sure you guys are annoyed about it, is Robert Bowling. Not because he's whatever it's because he doesn't play the role of a community manager that's his job that's his job with infinity world he's meant to play the community manager Do you know what a community manager is it's a guy who basically puts his face on a game so for example modern warfare 3 is robert bowling's game it's like the celebrity who puts his face to a product he's the sort of role model if you like and so he puts his face to the game and then he says hey I'm here so that your opinions get heard by our game developers and we can then implement changes into our game to make it better. 
That's what his job is to do. He's supposed to take our thoughts and put them into the game and tell the game developers about them. That's that's practically what he's doing. And then he's supposed to tell us um, about updates or things that are coming to the game that are new. That, that, that's his basic job. But what he does is he goes, actually, no, I think this should be the way it works. And so I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to take maybe two people who agree with me and I'm going to use that as my proof. That's that's all I see him doing. Now, Robert Bowling, if, if you actually watch this video, if any of Robert Bowling's affiliates watch this video and go, no, you're wrong, you're talking crap, uh, you need to be put cr straight, <laughs> show me the proof. I, I think we all want to see the proof that Robert Bowling is actually doing his job. If he's doing his job and the community really wants death streaks, then the community's stuffed up. But hey, who am I to argue? That's what the community wants. But uh, all I see is the community complaining. I see them really angry that Modern Warfare 3, the game that we're all waiting for, has basically gone and killed itself. Anyways, nice piece of gameplay and a bit of a rant commentary. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.